From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about in the big one today. Early voting is underway in Ohio for the November elections. Yeah, election day is 35 days away, but the early voting period started at 8 o'clock this morning, and there were people camped out all night at the Hamilton County Board of Elections to be among the first to cast their ballots. The big issue drawing people to the polls this year, the repeal of Senate Bill 5. And the people who were lined up early this morning were opponents of Senate Bill 5, people who want to see it repealed. There was a rally a little bit later this morning as well. Call attention to the early voting period. You can go in person to your local board of election to cast your ballot, or you can get an absentee ballot by mail and then send it back in before the November 7th deadline. Poor sportsmanship and high school sports could lead to criminal charges. This case out of Highland County, Washington Courthouse's football team won Friday night over McLean. Then after the game, as the teams were exchanging handshakes, it's alleged that one of the players for Washington Courthouse had a needle or thumbtack or something stuck in his hand. And as he shook hands with the players from the other team, the losing team, several of them got cut. The prosecutor has been given the case details from police who have been investigating in Washington Courthouse. There's a chance that this teenager could face charges. We do understand that he's been kicked off the football team, according to some parents of some of the McLean kids. New jobs coming to Wilmington this afternoon. The governor is going to announce that at least 250 positions are going to be set up at the airport that was once the big hub for DHL. Now, they used to employ some 7,000 people in Wilmington. This new airport maintenance hangar will employ about 250 people. The details to come out at a 3 o'clock news conference. 700 WLW Bengals update. The Bengals defense is now tops in football, at least when it comes to yards given up. Bengals defense on a roll after the first four games of the season. Bengals 2-2 two and two in second in the AFC Northern Division. This weekend, the Bengals go to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars, who haven't won a game in the last three weeks. Bengals are expected to come in favorite, even though they are on the road. No tell, uh, this game will be televised. You can hear it as well on 700 WLW. Kickoff is 1 o'clock. Saturday, downtown. Could be an invasion of the riverfront by the same people who are behind Occupy Wall Street and big demonstrations in other cities across the country. What they're calling Occupy Cincinnati is planned Saturday morning at Sawyer Point at 11 o'clock. They say the demonstration will target seven large corporations in the tri-state, which they say are responsible for spreading poverty in this area and across the country.